Hey everyone, Coaster Carl here. How's everybody doing? Um, I got quite a few things to go through today. Up first, we have the Lotus Avora by Matchbox. Let's uh, get this opened up. See what what this actually looks like. There we go. Whoops! It just went out of frame. Wow! Look at this. That is an awesome, awesome car. I really, really like this car. Um, I like the headlight tempos they put on this. Then they uh, put the Lotus logo right there. And I love the wheel choice for this. Looks really nice. Then they put uh, taillight tempos back there. If you can see that. Oh man, this is really nice. I really like this car. Um, now, I don't know much about Lotus. And I don't know much about their car. Um, their um, car models. But this one's really nice. The only thing I know about Lotus they don't make too many of their cars so um a lot of their cars are limited uh runs and so yeah but yeah that's a nice car i really like that one up next we have the nissan skyline 2000 gtx 1971 Really nice day out today. Beautiful, beautiful day out. Yeah, everything's blowing. Oh, nice! Finally, they make it the color of the packaging. Finally, this makes me happy. There we go. So it's kind of like a matte blue finish. Not very shiny. But oh man, would you look at those uh, taillight tempos. That's sweet. And then it won't focus, but there we go. And it says 1971 right there on the license plate. And then if you notice right up there on the trunk, it says uh, Skyline right up there. But, oh, man, this is a nice, nice vehicle. Oh, cool. We got headlight tempos and turn signal um, tempos right up there. Very nice. All around, this is a very nice vehicle. And the, um, the Lotus Avora is also a matte finish. Up next... We have the Fiat, the 2016 Fiat 500X, which I'm thinking this is a crossover. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is what I think you would call British green. I like to call it forest green because it reminds me of the color of the trees in the forest. Um. We got uh, headlight tempos right up there. And then we have the Fiat symbol right up there. Up here we have a, um, I would like to call it maybe a luggage rack or a bike rack. Um, then uh, we have this nice gloss finish on this. And I love the wheel choices on this as well. And then we have our lovely um, taillight tempos, which looks very, very nice. And then we have... Um, the Fiat logo right back there, which also looks very nice. So they did a really nice job on this vehicle. I normally don't like the Fiats, but this one is actually decent looking. I like this one. Up next, this is this is the um, Plowmaster 6000, 
And I think that this is part of the um, National Parks livery. So let's get this opened up and take a closer look at it. Oh, wow. Big. Big and bulky. That's what I like. Okay, so it says Forest Service. And it's a um it's a plow truck. Let me get these boxes out of the way here. It's a plow truck. Oh man, look at this. Sweet. I love this. Does this move at all? No. Um, but however, no, that doesn't move at all either. But uh, I was thinking that would have moved, but um, that's where the salt comes out because I think they also salt the roads and stuff. But, oh, man, they then they got that plow in the front. But, man, that is an awesome, awesome truck. And then it says number 15 on there. Um, they have Forest Service on that twice because the badge says Forest Service as well. So... Mattel did a really nice job on this. Good job, Matchbox. And then they put that light up there, that um, service light, so then you can see it. If, like there's a big storm or something. Up next, we have Dune Chaser. Let's get this opened up and see what this bad boy looks like. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I dropped the camera. My bad. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got some uh, retro, um, kind of almost like a retro matchbox wheel um, style back there. I remember when match the dump trucks used to look something similar to that, that wheel back there. And then we have... Um, I mean, look how long this is. I mean, it's fairly long. Um, and then we have the uh, temple right up here. And all in all, I like this casting. Um, I've always wanted to ride in a dune buggy on the dunes, and that I always thought that that would be really neat. So, yeah. Now, my least favorite casting. The Tuk Tuk. Uh, the reason why it's my least favorite casting is because I don't particularly care for this color choice that they've put on this, but I mean, I understand that it's like a cultural thing, but still, yeah. let's get this opened up here. Come on. All right, so for those of you who do not know what a tuk-tuk is, in a way it's kind of self-explanatory, but a tuk-tuk is a um, taxi cab that is a glorified and modified moped that they use over in Asia. And you'll see them a lot in, like, Thailand and... Um, if I can get this to focus again. Well, it says Thailand Tuk Tuk. But they use it a lot in Thailand and like Indonesia and in like um, India as well. So that's basically what a Tuk Tuk is. And um, it's kind of driven like a car but kind of not. Um, I'm not digging this green, and I'm definitely not digging that um, pink. But the cool thing about this is they've kind of put that crown pattern right there in the back right there. That hole right there kind of looks like a crown pattern. And it looks kind of like royalty. So it's really kind of, that part's kind of neat. But, you know, I'm just not digging the colors on this, and I'm definitely not digging that um, back yellow wheel. This also says uh, a lot of things in um, 
tie that I cannot pronounce. So, therefore, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to read it. So, I don't know. I'm hoping that they'll do a different color choice and rendition of this. It looks kind of like a Volkswagen bus that they've reamed up, and it's not really pleasant looking. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the Volkswagen bus, but that's what it looks like from the front a little bit. So, yeah, that's a tuk-tuk. But my favorites for the week are Dune Chaser. The Fiat 500, the truck, the Lotus, and the Skyline. So those are my favorites of the week. And um, I'm not a big fan of the Tuck Tuck. So... <laughs> Teach their own. Now, some of you are probably going to ask, why did you buy the Tuk Tuk? Well, I had to fill up this segment with something, so I had to get my car. So, those are my favorites. This is my least favorite. So, there you go. So, this is Coaster Carl signing off, and keep it coasting. And sorry for dropping my phone again, but, yeah. Alright, see you guys later.